Hey everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. We're now playing as Mia and we're at this wrecked ship. So uh, let's go check it out. And we can get down right here. Well, that's probably not good. Let's see, I can't go that way. So I gotta go this way. Some sort of black sludge falling from the ceiling. More of that goop. It doesn't look very good in here. That's a dead end. We'll go this way. Jinx. Well, no sign of anything, really. Oh, looks like a person. That is a person. That was a bunch of people. That's a bad sign. They're dead. They're all dead. The engine room. What the fuck are you talking about? She killed them all. Some weapons. Is there any weapons on this ship? I, I, I don't know, but look, let's go this way. Maybe we can get out of here. Okay, well, we're getting some sort of flashbacks. Let's open this drawer, nothing there. And yeah, nothing else in here. Don't think we can get through this. No. Alright, we gotta squeeze through here. Another dead end there. Nothing to grab. Same with that. I can drop down right here. <clears throat> right in some more goop. Alright, uh, let's see. Anything this way? No, we got this door in the way. So, this is our only option. Uh, crew register, Captain Ed Carlisle, Chief Engineer Paul Fitzgerald, First Officer Giovanni Finetti, Second Officer Clark C. Walsh, Mechanic Dwayne Chalmers, Communications Technician Jim Stockman, and Physician Gerald Waddell. Okay. Ugh. He 
Must have been hiding from something. Well, it didn't work. What was that? She's she is not my child. Okay, nothing else. Let's open this up and nothing inside. Okay, let's move on. This part of the ship is all messed up. Uh, LNG tanker Annabelle. Built 1987. Dead weight tonnage 71,000. Length 948 feet. So creepy. I don't see anything to grab. We can climb this ladder. got another dead guy we could drop into here let's do that and another little ladder there so I guess we're going this way you said we could be a family what are you talking about you said Wait! I'm tired of waiting. Please! Okay, well she just locked up that door. And we need to be careful here. Because there's some really nasty guys patrolling. So we're going to go in here. We're going to grab some stuff really quick. As soon as I get near the middle of this room, there's going to be a molded. So we're going to grab the antique coin right here. And then we're going to sprint over here, grab that, and run back. Just close that door behind him. Okay, now we need to be careful. So let me check this room real quick. But we need to be careful because there's a four-legged molded that patrols right near that um, door she locked. And that fuse I grabbed is going to open that up. But if I get that molded on me, it's going to be trouble. Let's see if we can avoid him. Which way is he looking? Oh, this is perfect. Let's put that in there quick. And get through. Alright. Oh, actually, before I go up, as much as I don't want to, I should get a save in. Oh, let's get across quick. So there's a save wrapped all the way around so we should be able to get there oh crap well that's bad let's get in here close the door oh god oh well go out the other way ow 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 oh my god move faster all right there we go Ooh. all right we'll be safe in here he can't get through the door and I should make a healing potion. Let's do that. 
I may regret going for this save, but we'll see. Okay, nothing there. Uh, Dear Janet, hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here. Day after day, just the same old sea. Although there is one thing that's different. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine, traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. You had no idea what you were in for with that little girl. What's this? Just a life jacket. Nothing special on it. We got some machine gun ammo. So we'll be getting a machine gun at some point. Amazon River Cruise Guide. Beauty in the Black Lagoon. Okay. Let's see, this room's safe too, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Or was that all in my head? I woke up at 9... at, uh, what would that be? 7.30, there was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below. Maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going down to check it out, but he never came back. I must, it must have been around 7.50 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me. Huge, sharp-like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then. But there's no way I'm going out there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Giovanni Finetti. We got some psychostimulants if we need help finding items. And let's see. I need to get across this hallway, which could be a little rough. Oh. Oh, he's right there. Let's be careful. He's just chilling right there. I don't know if it would be smart to make a break for it. But if he's not going to move, I don't really have much of a choice. He's not really moving. Screw it. I'm going for it. Oh, I don't think he followed. I'm not stopping to find out. Okay, here we go. We're at the save room. So we got a cassette tape. And nothing there. And nothing there. But we're going to make a save. Uh, new save data. Do you want to save? Why, yes, I do. Okay, so now I've got somewhere to return to if things go badly for me. Okay, so let's see if we can make it back to that door. Sometimes there's a molded patrolling here, but it looks like he's gone, which is perfect timing. Let's get through that door, and we're safe back here. Okay, and let's move up. We're at the second floor now. But that is locked from the other side, so let's keep going up. And third floor. And we're good. Watch it. What? Why? You need to remember, so we can be a family. Okay. 
Well, we've got a cassette tape there, and here's the old videotape. I'm gonna put that in the VCR. An old videotape covered in a black, mold-like substance. Mia Winters, cabin, test subject E001, sea transport log, top secret. And normally at this point you'd get the trophy, be kind, please rewind, for watching all the videotapes in the game. Alan, you're getting worse. She must have infected me during the attack. And I'm too far gone anyway. <sighs> Ah, 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 ah. But it serves me right. It's my fault she got out. Yeah, it is your fault. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you die. She didn't attack you? That's part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here, take it. It has her tissue samples. Find her. You fix this. Okay, Evie. Where are you? Okay, we got some machine gun ammo there. And a note. Special Operations Division. Director Alan Droney and caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that if Eveline remains at her current location, she is at a high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Eveline to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure, to be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Act as parental guardians for Eveline at all times to avoid suspicion. Manage Eveline's vitals via the genome codex provided. If the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Eveline. And we got a storage box here. We can grab our defense coin. We don't have any of the other shiny stuff we had. She's close. The numbers displayed show the distance to the target. Uh, you better check the rest of the floor first. Doesn't want me using the elevator just yet. Back here we've got some supplements. On the table, some herbs. That's a locked box. We can't enter uh, open yet. And we're going to go through these doors. Inside, we've got chem fluid that I can't seem to pick up. There we go. And some supplements. And machine gun rounds on the couch. Uh, it's locked from the other side, so we can crawl through here. She's vomiting. Damn, we'll have to reset. How's it going? She's vomiting. Far more in excess of her body mass. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing a lot more of her ugly friends if this keeps up. <laughs> All right, we need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. Okay, we got some herbs in the sink. Let me unlock that. Get your machine gun out, you're gonna need it. Uh, if we go to the left, there's a molded. I don't know if we can avoid him, but I'm gonna try because we need this ammo really badly. So we're gonna try to avoid using too much of it. Oh, but there's one right there. Hmm, I guess he can't be avoided. We might be able to avoid the next one though. Uh, is he following? Oh, yes he is. Oh, he tricked me, that jerk. And then he laughed at me. Oh god, oh, that sucks. Oh, we're in bad shape. Alright, well he's dead at least. Better make a healing potion. I can't believe I got that much damage from one guy. It's terrible. Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid the next one. Save this ammo. And 
Evelyn just took the elevator up. Or down, rather. She went to S2. Okay, let's call it back up. Okay, we're gonna have another molded drop from the ceiling. Now, I'm gonna try to get him down the hall and then jump in the elevator. See if it'll work. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? Not much room to dodge. Let's see if we can bait his attack. Hey, it worked. There we go. Oh, let's close the door. <laughs> Saving ammo. Uh, where'd my elevator go? There it is. Okay, down to S2. Okay, and we got 68 rounds. That should be plenty. We're gonna have a molded on the left. Get out of the way. Not, not bad aiming. This gun's not that easy to get headshots with. Oh, but that was terrible. Oh, no. No, no, no. Uh, Alright, where'd he go? Don't let him close. Oof, that was a little too close. And this ammo situation sucks, but he's dead. But yeah, not too happy with my ammo situation. My health is in bad shape. It's not good. I got an herb and some machine gun rounds. So I got 34 bullets to deal with a nasty molded. He's got one of those supercharged arms. So let's put as much damage into him as we can. It's the best we can do and then we're gonna have to deal with him with a knife. Yep, I'm out. Okay, so we gotta bait his attacks and then go in and slice him. There we go. Get out. Okay, back in. Going for the kill. Oh, crap. I got him. And I'm in bad shape. But I'm alive. That's all that matters. Okay, let's keep it moving. Hopefully I can work some magic here and not die. Okay, we got some remote bombs. And we got one of these molded up here. So, remote bombs are new. All you do, drop them on the floor. And then when they get close, you can detonate it with square. And that's going to take out his legs. And once he's got no legs... Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. It didn't kill his legs. Things just got a lot more difficult. It's supposed to kill his legs! Alright, well, we're gonna have to do the same thing. Bait his attacks and then go in and slice him. Oh, that was bad. Okay, this guy scared me. Oh, God! All right, come on, we can do this. There we go. Oh, I missed. Well, I was too slow on that one. There we go. In the face. Oh, too slow. Oh. I'm moving super slow because I'm wounded really bad. It's making that scary. Okay. Oh! 
He's still alive, no! Oh, he's got no arms. Okay, there we go. Apparently I sliced off his arm, I didn't realize. Alright, well, I'm somehow still alive. Hanging in there. So this videotape's a little rough. It's not for the, uh... Not for the weak. But we're still... We're still going. But normally those remote bombs will blow off their legs, so that was... That was just weird. That doesn't normally happen. Alright, we got a locked door here. Alan, I think she's on the other side of this door. But I don't have a key. Try to melt down the lock. You're on the bottom level, right? Check our luggage. Okay, let's look over here. We got a box inside, some chem fluid so I can make another healing potion, which I desperately need. There we go. Still a little bit of blood on the screen, but much, much better. Alright, and we got some corrosives. We can use that corrosive on these doors that are locked. Are you mad at me, Mommy? No, Evie. I I'm not mad. Wait. What did you call me? I don't want to live at the lab anymore. I want a house. And I want you to be my mommy. Okay, Evie. I I'll be your mommy. Just... Just come back with me, right now, okay? Where are you, Evie? <laughs> Evie, wait! Did you find her? Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. <coughs> Are you okay? You just worry about getting your foot back. All right, we're gonna have more stuff to deal with. So switch to the remote bombs. I'm gonna go to the bottom of the stairs and drop one right here. And hopefully this one actually works. Boom! There you can see he uh, lost his legs, or at least one of them. That's all you need. So once they're legless, they're fairly harmless. They still are dangerous, so you need to be a little careful, but they're gonna do a lunge attack, which almost never works, and then you just go in, hit them a couple times, then get out. And it shouldn't take too long to take them down. So just get in there, get a slice or two, and then out. Same thing again. Oh, stayed in there a little longer than I should have, but I didn't die for it. And, uh, not letting me open the door for them. There we go. Oh, well, wonder if I can slice them right there. Nope. Well, this is complicating things. Come on, guys, get through the door. There we go. Okay, bait his attack. Let's finish him off. Okay, he's dead. Let's work on this guy. He's gonna lunge. Got two good hits in there. He's gonna lunge again. And he's gone. Okay. And uh, once again, I am out of everything. No machine gun bullets, just my knife. No bombs. Gonna have to figure something out. Okay, we got another locked door. Corrosive. Let's see, we got an herb, some machine gun rounds, two remote bombs, some corrosive, and a chem fluid. 
And with that chem fluid, we'll make another healing potion in case we need it. And I'm going to switch to my remote bombs and head through here. And drop one about right there. So we got a friend coming. A friend with no leg. Okay, he's doing his lunge. Got another hit. Should do another lunge. There he goes. Oh, wow. Completely whiffed. Okay, he's gone. Now, this one's very important. There's going to be two molded. We need to get them both with this bomb. So, put it about right here. And then way... Boom. There we go. Got them both. Now, one of them has one of those big beefy arms. We need to be careful with that guy. Even though he's got no legs, that arm has incredible reach and ridiculous damage. So, uh, I'm going to take out the regular one with the knife. And then that other one's getting machine gun. So, I think I killed his friend. If that's the case, it's machine gun time. And it looks like that's the case. Oh, and I guess I have to reload, don't I? Kind of helps. And he's done. And I got eight shots to spare. Which could come in handy. Okay, let's keep it moving. Ah, we missed her again. And this time she's going up. Up to the third. Okay. Let's call it back down. Emergency safety lockdown system has been engaged. Ah, crap. Gotta pry this open. Let's climb up. Are you? Evie's upstairs. Okay. Don't have much to work with. Eight machine gun bullets and a knife. But we've got a locked box now, and we can open this up. That gives us some much needed remote bombs, so we're going to switch to that. Come around the corner and we're going to drop it. And we got a big beefy arm molded, but he's got no legs now. And we'll use our eight shots for him, but then unfortunately we've got to use the knife. Which means we'll just have to be very, very careful. Because if he gets a hold of us, it's bad. So just one sw- oh! Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. They do so much damage. It's ridiculous. You just, basically, you get, like, the tiniest opportunity to actually hit them. Watch out. So, run up as soon as he lands. And get out of there. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, did I just get him? Oh, yes. He is down. I think. Or did he just, like, despawn? What the heck happened? Ugh, and I can't heal. This is bad. Uh. 
Don't know if he's still around. If he is, it's trouble. But I think he actually died. Oh. Oh, crap. Okay, let's use some corrosive. We got two remote bombs. That's good. There's a dude back there. I don't want to mess with him. Oh! No! Okay. Oh, and he's got a friend. We need another bomb. Come on, guys. I need you out here. Where's your friend? Perfect. Okay. And he's not a beefy arm guy, so we should be fine. Oh, he's being really aggressive, though. Actually, this might be the last one, so let's just not even screw around. Just finish it. I'm pretty sure he's the last one, so we're just gonna get through this thing. That would be really dumb to die if he really is the last one. Hopefully he was, otherwise I've just got a knife. But I'm pretty sure he was, so we should be uh, clear. room should look familiar. How did you get here? Where's Evie? She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Well, it's a good thing we already died. <coughs> Don't say that. She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusted me. Okay, wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie! Ellen, listen! I didn't mean to call you that! She's Evie. trying to take to, control! To... You have to fight her! <laughs> Evelyn, stop! Stop right now! Don't touch me, don't! <laughs> Okay, and we got a laptop up here. shouldn't have all I can say is that if you get this stay away forget that you ever knew me have a good life
We'll be together forever. Do you remember? Yes, Evelyn. I remember. Can we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never a family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> All right, we made her mad. That sounds like a great plan. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, we'll just, um, make a new one. Alright, so we know that Mia was involved. How exactly? Still unsure. But, um, she, or what exactly she was doing, but, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Okay, so let's move forward into here. Let's check over here. We got some chem fluid. And uh, over here, the contents have been taken. Make sure you read this right here. If you want to try to piece together what it's saying, just pause it. Uh, I'm not going to bother attempting it right now. Um, but make sure you read it because uh, it's one of the files you need. Okay, in this room we've got machine gun ammo for a machine gun we don't have yet. We got some chem fluid. We got a drawer here, nothing in it. And a broken laptop. That's the laptop we sent that message on. And we got a door that needs corrosive. Okay, let's go and uh, rip these doors open. So the story's kind of coming together now. She uh, sent that email to Ethan from here on the ship, not from the Baker farm like I thought. So it's all making a little bit more sense, but it's still not clear like what she is. She was obviously telling him she's a babysitter, which is <laughs> clearly not the case. Um, but she must be some sort of scientist or something. <laughs> Okay, and we got a computer over here. Maybe it still works. See, there's different cameras. We can change the camera with X. Ethan. I hope I make it in time. Okay, bottom level. Stop it, Evelyn! Oh, fucking hallucinations. Where is she? Hallucination? She just put some scars on your hand. On your arm. It's not a hallucination. Or if it is, it's a super powerful one. Anyways, I don't think there's really anything in this room, but let me check this locker. Do a quick sweep through, but... Pretty sure there's nothing. It's like there might be a drawer over here. Yeah, a couple drawers, but they're empty. Okay, let's go through here. Got a locker here. Got an herb, sweet. And we got a Mr. Everywhere, but we can't break him yet. We got no weapon. And we got an antique coin. 
Uh, let's see. Let's make a healing potion in case I need it. Heck, let's make two. Okay. Uh, so let's go check out that door over there. This is the captain's cabin. We got a ship map, so that's gonna help. We got a lug wrench. We got two things of machine gun ammo, and if you look in here, there's a locked locker with a machine gun and a remote bomb. So we'll be back for that. We need a key. Okay, let's shove these doors open. And drop down. It's a far drop, but you'll be fine. Doesn't hurt you. And let's see. That's third floor. Let's use our lug wrench for right here. We can drop down into the elevator. There's a note here. Lewis, the cable is completely fried. We had a replacement, but we had to use it to fix something in the third floor sick bay. You're going to have to go ask Dr. Waddell for it. I'm needed down in the number two engine room, but I can't get down there unless we get this thing working. Dwayne. And you can see we need a fuse, and we need a power cable. So right here, we can climb down to the first floor, or we can climb up to the second floor. We're going to climb up for right now. And there's going to be some fat molded patrolling here. You obviously don't want to mess with them. And oh, there's one right there. Let's see what he's going to do. Let's see, how's the left looking? Can't really see on the left. But what is Fatty going to do? Now, if I run into troubles. Often going back into the elevator sort of resets things Kind of respawns them Which I might need to do here. Oh, yeah, he's coming this way. Screw that. I'm in the elevator And that'll reset it for me, so let's get back up let's See if he's still there And he's not perfect. Okay, let's go through here All right, we've got that note from the video don't need to read it again. We got cassette tapes. Well, let's do it again just in case it didn't count. We got some corrosives, some strong first aid med. We can save if we wanted to. And we got a lockbox or item box. We're going to keep moving right here. Make sure you grab that antique coin. Uh, over here, this door is locked from our side, so we're going to unlock it in case we need to use it. And then we'll move forward. This room right here also works for resetting those molded, so if you run into trouble, you can run into here. Close the doors behind you, and it'll reset everything for you. And we got some remote bombs. If we go into here where Evelyn's puke was, you can see it's mostly gone. And I'm trying to open this. It's being stubborn. Well, nothing in it anyway. Here, molded spawning or despawning, one of the two. Got some machine gun ammo. Over here, there's a box, but we can't do anything with it yet. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Ah, eh, we'll come back later. I was gonna wait till I had the knife. We'll be getting a knife in a little bit, but we'll worry about that later. For now, we're gonna open up that base, flip it on its side to get the antique coin. In here, we've got a puzzle, so we want to match the pictures on the left to the pictures on the right. So this one needs that purple on the top left. This one needs the blue on the top, and this one needs to be right side up. Okay, and that gives us access to this, which gives us three more corrosives. Okay, let's keep moving along this floor. See, fat molded over there, that's fine. I'm gonna run over here into this room and close it. And then if those molded are after me, I can just climb up to here and that'll also reset them. And we got some machine gun ammo. And there's also a Mr. Everywhere right there, but we'll have to deal with him later. 
We got no weapons still, other than bombs. Okay, we got that dude spawning. We don't want that. We're gonna come in here, reset them once more. We wanna get them in a better situation. So let's see if that helped. And it seems to have done that. So let's go in this room. Close the door. Got machine gun ammo. We got chem fluid. 16 years since the nightmare of Raccoon City, the survivors are still suffering. Nothing in that drawer, and we got an herb over there. Okay. Now let's quickly... Oh! Well, that's no good. Let's go reset in this room. <laughs> Up the ladder, and that should despawn them. And likely there's gonna be that dude on the left again, yeah. So he doesn't seem to spawn there if we reset over here. And that'll give us access to that other door, at least it should. And it looks like that's gonna be the case. So let's open this with some corrosive. Pulls the door behind me. And inside, we get Captain's Cabin Locker Key, so that'll get us that machine gun from earlier. And nothing in there. Okay, let's move out. He just spawned there, so we're gonna go this way. Don't want to deal with that. Uh, and actually, let's go into the elevator. And we're gonna go down to the first floor now. Because we need some stuff down here. Let's see, why isn't it letting me climb down? There we go. Gotta hit circle. Okay, so I wanna go not to the right, I wanna go to the left. We got him molded there. Be careful with him. He's four legged, he's fast. Close that door behind me. And we'll move through this room. Let's see if we can find that molded and sneak by him. That's not good sneaking. Ooh, just barely got that door closed. And he is mad. Let's see if we can get his attention over here. Hey, buddy. Oh, where'd he go? Odd. Must have despawned. Oh, screw it. I don't see him. Let's move quick. Corrosive this. Close that behind me. Alright, inside we get a backpack. We get an herb. We get a remote bomb, some machine gun ammo, and we get a survival knife. So we have a way to defend ourselves other than bombs now. Uh-oh, I think one just saw me. I'm moving fast into here. Close it behind me. Oh, open both. That's bad. Okay. Um, Alright, in here we got a box. We can break it for an herb. Got a locker. Nothing in that. And nothing else. Okay. And, uh... Ooh, I've got three healing potions. That's good. Okay, what else we need is that fuse we put in the door earlier. So let's grab that thing. Oh, there's a molded there. Oh god! Oh, that was almost bad. We might need to deal with him. Oh, he just despawned. I got my bombs. We might need to deal with him. But we got the fuse. Oh, I think he saw me again. Alright, no? Okay, let's move this way. See if we can't sneak around back through here. Oh! Close that door. <laughs> Ooh, that is not cool. Okay, he just despawned. I saw his goo leak out. Okay, where is he? Okay, 
Run through here. Close the door. Run through all the way around. Wait, we read that before, right? Yes. Okay, let's see if we can see through the window. Don't see him. Doesn't mean he's not there. But it looks clear. Let's move quick. And climb up. Okay. Alright, what do we want to do now? We should probably go all the way up. And get... Well, actually, since we're on the second floor... Oh, never mind. I was going to say we should get that Mr. Everywhere, but we can't yet. I don't have a gun. So we need to head up to the top to get the gun. So climb, climb, climb. And uh, before you drop down into the bridge, make sure you've got a remote bomb ready because you're going to get immediately attacked by a four-legged molded. And trying to deal with them with a knife is not going to work. So just drop it right there. And where is he? Oh, crap. He tried to trick me. Didn't work. <laughs> nice try, buddy. Okay. Now, we're going to go into the captain's cabin. Make sure you close the door behind you because you're going to get a molded. Open up this lock. Get the machine gun and the remote bomb. And then try to get out of here without getting hit. He's right on the other side of this door. I'm going to try to sprint out. And it worked. Sweet. Alright, we'll take him out with the machine gun. Oh, he's tough. Take some more bullets. Oh, crap. That was some bad aiming, but there we go. He's dead. And still lots of ammo to go around, so doing good on that. Let's come over here, switch to my knife. Take out Mr. Everywhere. And now we will drop down... And then we'll drop down, well, I was going to say we'll drop down one more time, but we don't need to do that just yet. Let's do the third floor now. We're going to come over here, switch to your machine gun. We're going to have a dude with no legs, but he's got a beefy arm, so best not to screw with him. Just take him out at a distance. Has so many holes in his head, but not dying, although that might be a death animation. Yep, okay, he's dead now. And we'll head through here. We got corrosive now, so we can use it there. And uh, this is basically where Mia met her almost demise. Over here in the corner, there's an antique coin. Make sure you get that. Don't think there's anything to be had over here. Okay, so you want to switch to a remote bomb and just be ready. Let's see, we got some psycho stimulants and some gunpowder. We got a drawer with nothing in it, and we got a handgun. You don't want that handgun equipped. Switch back to the bombs. So go over there and and uh, interact with one of these items really quick. Okay, you hear something spawning. And if you do that, you're going to get both things spawning that are going to come after you. And then just drop that and detonate. There we go. He's going to do his uh, barfing, but that's fine. Detonate again. And unfortunately, we didn't get his legs. Okay. Now, we need to take care of the rest of this guy's health, and unfortunately, we've got ourselves backed in a corner. This is not good. Fire like crazy, we need him dead. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, this is bad. Heal. Oh, good, I got by him. Nice. 
Okay. He should be pretty weak after two bombs. Oh, ow. Oh my god. No. Okay, we got another healing potion, thankfully. Oh, he's fast. He's fast. Oh. He is not dying. I don't know what's going on. He's just not dying. Okay, we'll block this. Freaking die, my god. Did he just die? No. This is ridiculous. He is not dying. Oh, finally. Oh, I gotta get away. Oh my god. That was insanity. He would not die. Uh, yeah, that's really bad. Used a ton of ammo. Yeah, I'm not too happy with that result. But, we gotta live with it. Okay, well, we can get this power cable now. So there we go, got that. And now we can come over here and at least get some handgun ammo. That might help a little bit. And all right, so we got our power cable, we got our fuse. And the only thing left to do is to get that Mr. Everywhere on the second floor. So once we got him, we're ready to move on because we can power the elevator now. So we just need to make our way back to it. And can we make another? No. I was going to see if we can make another healing potion, but we can't. Unfortunately. So let's drop down here. Let's climb up. And we got to find a way over to that room. Let's see if we can go this way. Nope, that way is not going to work. I think he's chasing me. Let's go in the elevator. Oh, God, no. Why? Really? He just had to? Ugh, alright, I better... Oh, I can't even heal. I used it. Crap. Alright, well, we're in really bad shape. Oh, and it just got worse. It just got worse. Okay, right, we'll get in there. Ugh, alright. Let's be a little bit more cautious. We'll just walk it. So I need to get to that side room. Okay, well, he's there, but that's okay. We'll go through here. And that despawned him. So that's good. We should be able to sprint all the way through. I think. Yep. Okay. And if they are after me, it's fine, because they're about to despawn. Okay, Mr. Everywhere. Gone. Okay, now we need to get back to that elevator. But that way is not going to... Oh, God. All right. That's not- Oh, come on. He like spawned and immediately hit me with his puke. Oh, this sucks so bad. I don't know how we're going to deal with this. Ugh, all right. Could we not do that again? That would be great. Okay, good. This will work. We can go in here. That'll despawn. Hey, what's this? Oh, strong chem fluid. That is perfect. I had no idea that was there. Ooh, but I could also make enhanced pistol bullets. Screw it. We're making a healing potion. Oh, well, apparently I used my herb. That's fine. We'll combine those two. Okay. That saved the day. I had no idea that was there. 
So make sure you don't miss that. That just turned my situation from terrible to not too bad. I wish I had more bullets. But I've got lots of remote bombs. Well, I've got two. I guess that's a lot. Okay, we've got a general purpose fuse and we've got a power cable. Elevator is powered up. And we're going to S2. And here we are. He's waiting. Creepy. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the pistol. And if you look up, you see we've got a molded with no legs and a beefy arm. So we're gonna let him drop down and then we're gonna take him out. Not with the knife. You don't want these beefy arm guys near you, as you should know by now. Ah, I think I missed two shots there. No good. Oh no! Ah, oh, crap. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Wasn't uh, the best use of bullets, but uh, he's dead. It's all that matters. Okay. Now we should have him molded on the left. We'll grab that first aid med. There he is. Oh, look out! That was quite a lunge. Oh, don't lunge on me like that. It's scary. Okay, he's down. Oh, I wish I had more ammo. Let's see, I'm in the yellow, aren't I? Oh, I can't see my status for some reason. I'm debating using that heal. Anything in here? Ah, machine gun ammo. Okay, this... This one's gonna suck up here. There's a four-legged molded. I kinda wanna use the remote bomb, and I kinda don't. Because I could definitely use these moving forward, but... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this guy. Well, let's try the machine gun. I would like to save the bomb if I can. So just be ready. Get him in the head quick. Oh, I got him. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, that just made my situation much better. Okay, we got a remote bomb. We got an herb. Machine gun ammo. We can break this for handgun ammo. And we got some more handgun ammo. So we got 12 shots with this thing. Not bad. Okay. Up ahead, we're going to have a molded with a beefy arm. There he is. Ah, wasting ammo. Just barely moved his head and I missed. Oh crap. Well, I shouldn't have rushed that shot. That was bad. So if you come back too far, this guy will despawn, but he'll come back if you go back in. Now, it's fine if he does that because uh, he still has the same amount of health when he does it. So it's not a big deal. So if you go into this room, he's going to despawn. But it's fine. You can just go back and finish the job. And, oh crap, I made a mistake, and uh, luckily didn't pay for it. You shouldn't take too much more. Oh god. Okay, he's dead. Okay, next up we're going to have a fat molded. But we've got three remote bombs. I'm going to use two on him, because I think I'm going to need one more for uh, a four-legged molded. So two should be enough with some follow-up shots, I would think. So we'll put the first one right there. Now if you wanted to be really brave, you could let him grab you, and then place the bomb on him while he's uh, 
like wrestling with you. But that's only if you want to be super brave. Let me get a little bit closer to it. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I'd rather maximize my damage and uh, unfortunately he's still alive and well. Oh god. I'm not comfortable with my health this slow with him. I'm gonna use a healing thing. So there we go. Now hopefully he doesn't have much life left. But you never know, these guys are so freaking strong. And yeah, you can see he's just a absorbing these shots but it looks like he finally went down oh is he dead or not yeah he's dead he's gonna explode okay we're in good shape now I think I think that next it's a four-legged molded and if it is I've got a remote bomb for him I don't want to screw around with those guys if they get a hold of me it's bad times What is it? Okay, nothing so far. Let's use a corrosive here. And antique coin. So if you want to check your coin status here, you should be 31 out of 33. You also, if you're going for the files, you should have five files here. So just be aware of that. You also should have um, 17 Mr. Everywheres destroyed. I might have been imagining that four-legged molded. I'm not seeing anything. Let's see. Can I go back here? I can. But there's... Ah. Oh, I'm missing a corrosive. Crap, when did I miss a corrosive? I wonder if it'll even let me head back up. I'm trying to think. When could I have possibly missed a corrosive? Um, There's one in the medical bay. Did I forget to grab that? Well, let's see if I can actually go back up there. I don't want to miss something. Because I don't remember what's in there. So, hopefully it lets me go back, but I might have to skip out on whatever that is. This music's creeping me out, though. I'm, like, expecting to get jumped any second. But I think I'm okay. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's gonna work. Okay, well, I think I missed one on... in the sick bay. Luckily, there's no enemies up here, so I can just run right through. Because if I didn't miss that one, I don't know what I could have possibly missed. Unless there was one in that storage room downstairs and I just missed it. But I thought I grabbed everything in there. So I don't know, that's my only idea. Please be no enemies. Okay. Ah, uh, yep, that's what I missed. Okay, so don't forget that one. It's important. We can just head right back down. I've got it stuck on this super creepy music. Because we were about to get to an important part. So I confused the game. It's like, what are you doing? You were supposed to continue with the story. And I was like, eh, I need my shinies. That's alright, we'll be back there soon. Back down to S2. Let's see, is everything reloaded? Yeah, everything is good. Here's some enemies that went by. Well, there shouldn't be any down here, but remote bomb is ready. Just in case. Pretty 
Please be no enemies. I think we're okay, though. And really, I should have just used three remote bombs on that fat molded, but whatever. He died. Wasn't pretty, but he died. Was, ah, it's right here. Watch it be something stupid. Ah, uh, no, it's not stupid. It's two remote bombs. I'll take that. I need you to do something. Ethan. 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 Hey, shh, shh, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. Well, what do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces her way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to... Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her and you stop her. Ethan, free my family, please. away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't you dare. So what? <laughs> You're not my mom. Remember? Back on Ethan. Okay, you little bitch. Where the fuck are you? Okay, over here. Grab this antique coin, and there's only one left. Just one. It's a good thing I've, this has subtitles, because I can't read that at all, but apparently it says it's all your fault.
This is some barren landscape. And we got the trophy into the depths. We're getting to this part in the story. We can duck under this tree. Some fish, just dead fish everywhere. I guess killed off by her corruption. Okay, climb over that tree. And the last coin is right over here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Where's it hiding? It's around here somewhere. Uh, did I pass it? Where the heck did it go? I know it's around here. Ah, oh, there it is. So right here. Bam! Final antique coin. Trophy should pop up. Mad Pelicans. We did it! A little tough to find all those guys. And they're in different positions than they are in normal, so... Not many people know where those are, but if you follow, follow along with me, you can get them all. Alright, so we got a ladder that'll get me out of this water. And we got no weapons or anything, but that's about to change. Because if we come into here, we've got access to our storage and we've taken Mia's things as well. So, we've got a machine gun too. Uh, so what do we want to take? Let's take... Hmm... Well, for now, let's put my antique coins back in. And we've got how many? I don't know, we'll figure it out in a minute. Let's take my knife. Let's take the... Good pistol. I think it's the M19. Um, uh, we've got the MPM handgun. I wonder if that's actually better. I don't actually know, but I would imagine the M9 is better. Where the heck is it, though? This is the G17. Am I, I'm just blind, I think. It's probably, like, right in front of my face. Well, let's take the uh, handgun ammo while I'm in here. And the enhanced handgun ammo. The shotgun shells. There's the M19. Let's take that. We'll take shotgun. We'll take... The machine gun. Where did it go? Machine gun. Where are you hiding? Well, we got ammo for it. There's the machine gun. Oh, and we don't want the knife. We want the survival knife. Okay. And we've got strong first aid med. We'll take that with us. What else do we want? Got 17 cassette tapes. I'm gonna need one of those, so let's take one. Oh, we don't need my herbs, separating agents, psycho stimulants. We don't need that. Got the grenade launcher. Not gonna bother with that. Got chem fluid. Whole bunch of chem fluid, separating agent. We got remote bombs. Yeah, most of this I don't want or need so I think we're good at least for the moment I'm gonna go buy some stuff okay so let's clean out this area see what we've got a separating agent we've got handgun ammo uh, February 18th 1892 there was a collapse in the Patterson mine Twan and Beckford are dead and Huxley will never walk on his own again Old man Stan was right. The ground there is too unstable. February 19th, 1892. The company is not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Got some more chem fluid. It says Abercrombie Salt Mine, South Dolby. Uh, I got some more handgun ammo. We got a pitcher. Uh, are they watching us from the helicopter? Got Nero Rounds. Alpha-1, this is Bravo-1. Do you read? This is Alpha-1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. 
However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports he's in the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Oh, looks like I might have some help. Okay, let's see. We've got a salt coin that takes eight coins. Iron defense coin takes seven. The magnum takes nine. Now, if we have 17, which we might, I'm gonna get the assault coin and the magnum. So let's see, do we have 17? I think we should. Oh yeah, we got 22. So we're gonna get both of those. Oh, and I'm gonna need to clear some space in order to make that happen, so. Neural rounds go in, one cassette tape goes in. Chem fluid, I'm gonna make, um, I wanna make some more, uh, healing things. I got so many herbs. Um, so we'll just... Well, I guess we'll make two. So, let's do that. Okay, we got two of those, so herbs go back in. Um, got lots of handgun ammo. We can put those back in. Machine gun ammo's gonna stay. Separated agent goes back in. Solid fuel goes back in, okay. And then we're just gonna buy these two and we're good. Oh, and we'll need to take my magnum ammo with me. Uh, so it's this one, right? Yes, salt coin. Okay. So put in our coins. And as far as I know, that magnum is like stupidly overpowered and uh, we've got a lot of bullets for it, so. Uh, I think we're on the last level, but I could be wrong. But if we are, we might just trivialize that final boss because I've got so many shots for this thing and I'm gonna have an assault coin on top of that okay so that's the right one right 44 mag yep let's put in a coins and I've got a whole bunch of ammo and everything's all good so it's kind of hard for uh, to be more prepared than I am at the moment And uh, I've just got five extra coins, which isn't enough to buy anything, which is kind of weird. Okay, there we go. We got the Magnum. And um, we probably shouldn't be carrying this much stuff with us. Um, do we really need the machine gun? Maybe. We could put the defense... Oh, we're not even... We don't even have the defense coin. Oh, uh, but we'll have... That gone. Let's just put the strong first aid med back in. And that'll probably be fine. Because then we'll have... Well, screw it. We'll bring it. Okay. We're ready to make a save. New save data. Alright, so there we go. Mia is probably back under Eveline's control, which sucks, but Ethan is safe. And we got all our stuff back, and we have a magnum now, and a machine gun, so things are looking pretty good. But we'll see what this uh, area has in store for us on the next video. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.